Today at Mullen Machinery, we have a LeBlanc Makino 15 by 54 inch servo shift lathe. New in 1988. All original paint. Accurite two axis digital readout. It works just fine. Pratt Bernard 10 inch three jaw chuck, reversing top jaws. Micrometer carriage stop, Alora CXA tool post, and I have a holder or two. Taper attachment, steady rest is a little dirty. We didn't clean it yet, but that's the medium bore steady rest with roller bearing jaws. Morse taper number four tailstock, live center and tailstock chuck. We have some aluminum machinable jaws for the three jaw chuck. I have a 5C lever drawbar laying around for this. I don't have it in, uh, next to me. It's on the other side of the room at the moment, but it will come with it. 5C lever drawbar. I forget this, what the spindle saw hole is off the top of my head, but I'll put it on my website. This one is inch metric. Now these LeBlancs do have a handful of change gears for a certain ranges. They are under this cover. I just haven't opened it. This is the only little chipping paint, but that's very common on these machines. We're gonna run it for you now. It's currently wired for low voltage, 208, 230 volt. I mean, it says 208, but it runs fine on 230 or within 10%. I can only run it in the low speed at the moment, up to 494 RPM because the high speed belt broke. We ordered the high speed belt. It was just dry from age and we'll have that here sometime next week. But for now, I just wanted to show the machine. You could see, the I forgot to show the ways. The ways are in great shape. No ridges, no, you can't feel any wear on the ways there. So the ways are real nice. The screws are, are very good. No, no excessive backlash or anything. The cross slide's in great shape. You can actually see the scraper marks in it there. Like I said, all original paint on this machine. I believe it's in 130-odd RPM right now. Servo shifts, you always change the speed when it's running. We'll walk to 484. One click back on the switch is off. One click back is the brake. your carriage feed. There's your cross feed. Now you're in feed. Feeding back the other way. Forty-five RPM. Three hundred and fifty one RPM. Six RPM. There you get it. You should see the machine runs great in every gear. Once we get the high speed belt in, we could always amend the video, but I'm sure that's fine. We will check it out. The only thing I don't see with this, I don't believe we got the cool a little coolant uh, pan that goes under it. So if you use coolant, you may just have to add a coolant 
uh, pump. I'll see if I have one around, but right at the moment I can't guarantee one. So you can check this machine out on our website, mullinmachinery.com. That's M-U-L-L-I-N machinery.com for all your tool room and fabricating needs.